Hi love bugs, welcome back to Kara's Love Techniques. I am Coach Kara, and today we are talking about another dating 101 type video. So we are talking about the importance of eye contact while dating. Now I know many of you may be wondering, well why is that so important? I look at the person anyways, I already know what they look like, but no, seriously. If you're new to dating or you struggle with first dates, especially if you do not know the individual. Well, here are just a few techniques that you may want to try to improve the dating process, okay? And I tell you, it is going to be quite beneficial. All right, so the importance of eye contact. Why is it important? Firstly, when you're on a date, especially if you don't know this individual, eye contact is important because if you don't already have some sort of spark with this person, um, nothing's clicking yet. Well, while you're speaking and engaging in dialogue, it allows you to make a connection at least. If the chemistry is somewhat null or non-existent at that moment, at least this allows you to build some level of connection. And, um, as the date progresses, especially if you are interested in this individual, you will find this to be most helpful, especially if they're giving you the same level of eye contact, all right? The second reason why making eye contact is important is because this allows the person to see if they can trust you and vice versa. So you need to know if this person is trusting and as well as trustworthy. And you will know that because they'll be able to make eye contact with you at ease. They won't seem like they're hiding something. And it just makes the date seem more comfortable. You understand? Unless, of course, this person is like a bona fide psychopath to where they can just pretty much pull anything off. But no, we're not talking about that tonight. This will actually allow you to be able to trust the person and open up on a more vulnerable level. The next important reason would be because, well, it will allow you to show this individual that you do have a sense of confidence, that you are secure, because they will be able to see, especially if they date quite frequently, they'll be able to see right away if you are insecure or have poor esteem, uh, your confidence is not where it should be, you're not as self-assured, so it'll be quite visible to someone who is very um, skilled in dating, especially with behaviors. Yes, they'll be able to identify that right away. So if you are a little self-conscious, maybe shy or reserved, your confidence may not be as high, but maintain as much contact as you possibly can, all right? And you want to do this pretty much with anyone just out of practice so that you do get into the habit of looking someone in the eye. All right. And lastly, one of the most important reasons why you want to make eye contact, because if you're not as discerning of people, you don't have a keen sense of discernment when it comes to behaviors and someone's character with eye contact, you can pretty much tell how someone is. You can tell if someone is, you know, sneaky, quite deceptive because they'll have eyes that roam all about. They really, it's really challenging for them to make eye contact with you. Perhaps they have some sort of ulterior motive or if this individual is a serious type person, you know, it won't be too much of a smile there, but you can see the seriousness in their eyes. They're not really as, I don't know, friendly if you will. You can also tell if someone is quite intelligent, they'll have smart eyes or they may come off as a thinker, you know, assessing everything that you say and hmm, okay. And that might be followed by a question. They're very inquisitive. And you can see it's all in the eyes, quite stern even, maybe a little intimidating, but at the same time they're engaging. And that's the most important thing. You want someone to be able to engage with you and vice versa all right so you'll be able to assess someone's character 
and this is why I say it's important to make eye contact because you you never know what someone's thinking, how you know skilled they are with dating. So yeah, definitely make eye contact at all costs. Here's how. Yes, there is a method to doing everything properly or as best as you can. Because you won't you don't want to just walk out there trying to make eye contact and you're doing it all wrong. Well, that defeats the purpose and it makes absolutely no sense. No. When you're making eye contact, you want to maintain a certain level of eye contact for a certain length of time. You know, you don't want to just stare at someone like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. No. First of all, that's not even cute. Give them some eye contact, engage, nod your head, say a little something, let them know that you're interested and that you are engaging with them and you kind of like want to just glance off, come back or yeah, you know, look down, stir your drink or something like that just so it doesn't come off as not just intimidating but weird and awkward, you know, making someone feel uncomfortable. No, we're not trying to do that, okay? We want to show that we're engaging, but at the same time, we're not some freaking psychopath that wants to indulge in your entire being. No, we're not doing that, okay? So just to glance off every now and then, and then just look back to let them know that you are interested, All right? Another reason, another way of how, or another, another reason of why you would want to be certain that you're doing eye contact in a proper manner. Um, it's the type of eyes that you have. Now, we all have different types of eyes, though there, many of them are quite the same. But some of us have, you know, deceptive eyes. So if you have like more bigger, rounder eyes that kind of bulge out, you kind of want to be careful of how you place your head, not looking down like this the way they come out and it kind of comes off as creepy. No, just look level-headed at the person so, you know, it doesn't come off as weird. You want to be careful of that. If you have more, I guess you could call them mean type eyes, or eyes that you really can't place what the person is thinking, kind of like my eyes. Now, I've been told several times by guys, I was afraid to approach you because you look mean. Your eye, you have mean eyes, you know. First of all, don't project your poor confidence on my looks, okay? <laughs> No, but I have been told that I do have mean eyes. And the reason why that is, it's because I always have to smirk, smile, anything but not smile. And the reason why that is because it gives me, the, gives them, give off the impression of me having RBF. All right. And it's very easy for that to happen because the moment I stop smiling, it comes off as, even if I keep the same type of eye contact, it may look as though I'm sitting in some freaking corporate business meeting, stern, serious, trying to get to the point, and even giving off bitch vibes. So, yes. So whenever I smirk, it just gives me a, a softer appearance and more approachable, if, if you will. You understand what I'm saying? And by those guys telling me that, that actually made me aware, because I'm not the most smiley type individual anyway, not that I'm really all that serious either because I'm freaking goofball. But at the same time, I have to be aware of my facial expressions, especially with my eyes at all times, okay? And lastly, with eye contact, um, it shows that you are definitely interested because you can tell right away when someone isn't, you know, they're kind of, yeah, like they're just looking for the next exit door so they can just like vanish. And when you're showing that you're interested, you want to appear to have somewhat of what I would call like soft eyes, like low level eyes. And guys are like the best at having lower romantic, you know, interesting eyes or int uninterested type eyes. 
you, you know, ladies, if you ever had a guy step to you and he's like, hey, sexy, you know, he lowered his eyes and he puts out that charm on you and he comes with it and it's soft and it's smooth and it's sensual and he wants you to feel it and he's talking to you with his lower eyes. Yes, men are like the best at it. <sighs> Women, well, you're either doing too much or not enough. So you, again, it goes back to being self-aware. This is why I say the importance of being, of having eye contact, it really makes you aware of and conscious of your body language, how your shoulders are and everything and how your eyes are placed. Now, if you really are interested in someone, yes, okay, yes, I do that. Oh, sure, I'm interested, you know. You wanna make sure your eyes are soft and, and not so hard and serious. You know, many people practice it. Practice it with yourself in the mirror. If you're not good at being, I don't know, having some sort of sex appeal, coming off as sexy or warm, because you always want to make a guy feel as though he's attracted, attractive and that you are attracted to him by giving those soft eyes. It lets him know, okay, she's feeling me. So here's the thing though. And I know at least one of your, if you've been in several relationships or you date quite often and you have this sort of chemistry with someone and it's probably more physical and it's, there's like a sexual connection between you two. Look, you don't even have to worry about freaking having con eye contact with someone. You don't. Because it is already going to be there. Both of you will be engaging with each other, giving them the soft, I want you two eyes and... You're gonna be mine by the end of the night or week, whatever. Hopefully much further out than that. But it's going to be there. It's like you won't even have to do all of that. But if it's with someone you kind of not uh, really feeling, you know, they're gonna to have to warm up to you and vice versa. Well, you kind of need to do the, the extras, okay? But if the chemistry is there, especially if it's that sexual chemistry, you guys are vibing out, well then, no work needs to be had. All right, guys. So hopefully this has been informative to you. I just wanted to make you guys aware of how important having eye contact is. If you need further dating advice, all of my information will be linked down below. But I thank you always for joining me. That is all for now. Until next time.